Hey there, this is Alan Brocken. Now that my kids are grown up, they say I'm the cool dad everybody talks about. But if I'm being totally honest, that did not happen every day. In many days, I was not a cool dad. I was, I was just, it was bad. That being said, you know, I, I, I figured some things out. My kids still like me now that they're grown up. And so I'm here to share my daily dad word with you to give you some insights and some help to make sure you can get your brain out of work mode and into family mode. So let's make sure we all take out our handy dandy notebooks uh, to jot down some things that are top of mind um, in your work brain so you can free up some headspace for your family. So let's get started with today's dad word. The word is shooting. We're going to be talking about shooting, shooting sports, um, and there may be a shooting dad jo joke or two. So let's get started. As a parent, one of the things I think is really important is that we put our own oxygen masks on before helping others. So let's take a deep breath in, th in through our mouth, out through our nose, in through our mouth, out through our nose. And I want you to keep doing that throughout the show. Keep breathing slowly. You might need to take a moment and, and jot down an idea here or there that comes up, things you need to get off the top of your brain, but, let, but keep breathing regardless. And so while you're breathing, I'm going to make sure we keep God's word top of mind. This week's memory verse is Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23. Our verse again, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23. And, you know, this goes back to the word sin was really an archery term about missing the mark. And so since we're talking about shooting today, it kind of they kind of go together, right? Um, but hey, are you still breathing? Take a deep breath in. You know, one of the things is, because I was in the military, they taught a ton of breathing techniques around um, how you should be breathing while you're firing a weapon and things like that. And and it, it helps create focus. Concentrating on your breathing, getting plenty of oxygen is going to help you with focus. And it's going to help you hang up your tough stuff for the day. It's going to clear out some negative brain chemicals. Uh, but right now, you know, if you've got a bunch of stuff that's top of mind and, and you're not ready to get, get into family mode, just hit pause real quick and write some of those things down. Take some notes. You can pick those notes up tomorrow and, and get ready to go. And when you're ready again, hit play. Well, I hope you're ready for today's great word, which I've been talking about shooting. So this great word's actually from a different mentor of mine, Drill Sergeant Whitaker from Fort Benning, Georgia in 1991. One of, his, one of the things I heard him say one time was, aim small, miss small. So when I think about aim small, miss small, the point of the phrase is to envision exactly what you're trying to do and ensure that you are laser focused on the target in front of you. There's a lot to shooting a perfect bullseye at 300 yards. You need to deal with wind, elevation, breathing, trigger pull, lots of factors. But in the end, it's all about narrowing your focus to be in the moment and put everything you've got to staying on target. That same principle applies to fatherhood. If your target is to train up your child in the way they personally should go, then you need to be aware of who, who each of them are and aim very small with great focus on what is unique about each one of them and train them up in that way. You know, and maybe you don't know how to get started on it. How do I even, you know, hone in to make sure that aim is straight. Well, why don't you come talk about it over at the Daily Dad Word Discussions Group. We've got some pretty smart dads there that can help you out, and we're happy to kind of talk it out, help you make sure that you're aiming small and missing small with your family. Are you still breathing? Anything else come up top of mind? You need another pause so you can note down some other things? Go ahead and take it. But now I hope you're really ready for today's good word that comes from Boston where Jackson, Tristan, and Violet Kelly decided to make a difference. In the summer 2009, the Kelly brothers, Jackson then 10 and Tristan, almost 8, launched Backpacks for New, New Beginnings, a charity that provides backpacks and school supplies for underprivileged kids around the Boston area. We wanted to create a charity where we could do more than donate money or toys. The brothers told Metal Floss by email, we wanted it to be a charity for kids run by kids. They manage around 30 volunteers and coordinate deliveries themselves, donating over 7,500 backpacks. You can learn more about Jackson, Tristan, and Violet Kelly's story at the link in the description. Do you know an inspiring kid? 
somebody that other kids could look up to for the amazing things they're doing. They could be an entrepreneur. They could be in sports, whatever it is. If you know an amazing kid, let us know. Uh, go to dailydadword.com and uh, hit the contact form and tell us all about it. And we may feature them on the show and highlight the charity that they charity or cause that, hey, are you still breathing? Well, you know, if this whole breathing thing isn't isn't working for you, then then I'm just going to try to make you laugh. Well, so let's try some shooting jokes. What did the marksman get when he hit the bull's eye? A very angry bull. Okay, how about this one? Have you tried shooting blindfolded? You don't know what you're missing. All right, not so funny. That's fine. Well, why don't you try and come up with a pun related funny story or maybe just an anecdote to share with your family? Thank you for tuning into the Daily Dad Word. If you're looking for some more inspiration for your family time, check us out at dailydadword.com slash dailydadword. There's a link in the bio. I have a number of resources there to plant a seed for a lifetime relationship with your family, including a link to the Daily Dad Words discussion Facebook group. I'm also working on some cool dad projects, some fun stuff for you to do with your kids, and so that should be coming up in, in coming weeks. And if you found this focus time useful, like and subscribe to be notified about our next day's show. Right now, I'd really like to encourage you, though, to take another 5-10 minutes with your handy notebook and make sure you've emptied out as many of your troubles as you can so you can pick them up later. That way you've got the headspace to engage your family successfully. See you later.